Repairing the Pensacola Bay Bridge requires the demolition and removal of multiple bridge spans. Spans are the sections of the bridge that connect two pier locations. Each is approximately 59 feet wide and 150 feet long. Constructed of steel reinforced concrete, the bridge spans weigh approximately 1.9 million pounds. This computer-aided simulation depicts one method of demolition being employed on the project. Work begins with saw cutting the bridge deck along the length of the span and over the center line of the piers. A construction barge positioned beneath the span is used to provide a work platform so that self-propelled modular transporters can be moved into position. Hydraulic jacks on the transporters lift the beams and bridge deck from their supports. The bridge section is moved to a staging area at the opposite end of the barge. A crane can then be used to lift the bridge section and place it on a second barge where demolition can begin. Meantime, the transporters return to the bridge to remove the remaining section of the damaged bridge span. Once all sections of the span are removed, the barge containing the damaged sections can be transported to a designated location to complete demolition and unload the debris. This innovative approach to bridge span removal allows crews faster access to begin reconstruction work. For safety reasons, much of the demolition work is limited to the daytime hours. This is particularly true for heavy lifts by the construction cranes. However, crews are working throughout the night to process demolition debris for disposal. Three bridge contractors and four salvage companies are working to repair the Pensacola Bay Bridge and restore four lanes of traffic by March 2021. Citizens can stay informed using this website. It is regularly updated with the latest repair news and information for commuters in Escambia and Santa Rosa counties.